Today what we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to do a motion blur effect and it's going to look something like this. What's up guys, I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you're watching. Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> so on the agenda for today, we're gonna teach yes. you how to create a motion blur effect in Premiere Pro. Now yes. normally you would do this in After Effects, right? Right, it's pretty easy to do in After Effects. There's basically a button that does it for you. Yes. But shockingly in Premiere Pro, it is quite a different story. Yeah, it's a little bit more difficult. So we're going to show you today how to do it in Premiere. We're going to start with this project right here. And what we're first going to do is we're going to create a sequence. Now, if you don't know how to create a sequence, we're going to right click or control click on the Mac. And we're going to go down here and click sequence. Now you have to do this in the project area right here. And there's a bunch of different options you can choose when creating a sequence, but the one that I use is ARRI 1080p. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this PNG file here and we're going to drag it into our timeline. So it can be any file you want as long as it's a uh, you know image or video, it doesn't matter. But we're going to use a Tesla Model X today. Mm. Um, it's on theme, on brand. It's all about branding, folks. It's all about branding. We got to stick to the channel's theme. Exactly. Tesla. So what we're going to do, basically, is we're going to make this move across the screen. When you're using Premiere, usually what you want to do to move an item or a image, what you're going to do is just go into the video effects and change the position and create a few keyframes so that it starts here and ends here. But what we want to do is we want to make it look a little bit more realistic. Yeah, because right now you're probably seeing, noticing that it just kind of looks like the image is like dragging across the screen and it's very choppy. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a motion blur. Uh, so if you don't know what a motion blur is, it basically makes it look like the object moving across the screen has sort of a directional blur to it. Mm -hmm. so that it looks almost like it's been videotaped with a real camera. Right, it um, mimics kind of like what you see naturally in real life. You know, if you're watching something move by you really quickly, like if you just do what I just did now, swing your hand past your face really fast, you Motion don't blur. see like every little bit of your hand as it goes by. It kind of looks like it blurs across yeah, your face. Yeah, it's a motion blur. And motion blur. You can actually recreate that in After Effects, but what a lot of people don't know is that you can also recreate it in Premiere. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this because that was just an example. Those keyframes will not be key. They are not key keyframes will be key. Keyframes are key. <laughs> Insert song, drop. Keyframes are key. So in order to create a motion blur in Premiere, what we first have to do is go to the effects browser and we're going to search for the transform effect. Apparently you don't know how to spell okay. transform. There we go. So we're going to drag that right onto our image right there. So what this does is it opens up the transform effect and now here's a little secret that I found to getting a really cool motion blur effect in Premiere. So what we're going to do first is we're going to shut off this use composition shutter angle Huh. Okay. right here. Yeah. That needs to be off in order for this to work. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the shutter angle and we're going to turn it to 180. Now you can either do this by clicking it and dragging to the right or what I usually do is click and you can just type it in. So 180. This is the most important part of creating the motion blur. You can't change the position in the regular position changer up okay. here in the video effects section. Okay. The way you have to do it is by changing it within the transform effect. Okay. That's what gives it its motion blur effect. So now that we have all this set to go, what I actually want to show you guys how to do real quick is save this as a preset. Ooh, yeah, so that, that sounds it like again. it'd be helpful. It is very helpful. So that you don't have to re go into this and keep changing the settings every time you want to do this effect. So in order to do that, we're going to come up here to where it says the effect, and we're going to control or right click, and we are going to click save preset. Okay. And we're going to name the preset motion blur effect. And we're just going to click OK. Nice. So now when you go down into your effects... Yeah. Where, do we, where does it go after you do that? It goes into this little folder right here, Presets. Oh, okay. And I, you can see yeah, here I've got is. plenty of presets from other videos. And there it is, Motion Blur Effect. Wow. So if, for example, you know, you didn't... You deleted the effect and wanted to do it again, just go into your Presets folder and drag just it right drag back it right on. on. And there it is. Yeah, it's that easy. So 
What we're going to do now is we're going to show you what kind of results this gets if we change the position. So to do that, you basically have to drag these little numbers um, or type them in, whatever you prefer. We're going to drag it to this little corner right here. Okay. And we're going to click position to create a keyframe at the beginning of the shot. Nice. We're going to go maybe, let's say, here. And I'm going to click the plus button on my keyboard to zoom in so I can see better. And we're going to go, I don't know, a few seconds in. And we're going to then change the position again to somewhere else. Nice. Once the object moves, you can see that it's creating a blur. So what that does is it gives us this really cool effect. But we can go a little bit further and... Ooh, yeah, let's go even further. We're going to go further. We're going we're gonna to show you what you can really do to make this look really good. Take it to the limit, Bobby. We're going to push it. Push it to the limit. That was not a Disney song. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to zoom in by clicking the plus button again. And we can actually okay. drag this over here if we want to see a little bit more or a lot of it more. So if you want to take this a little bit further, what we're going to do is we're going to make this image sort of ease into the motion. Mm -hmm. So it's going to start off slow and sort of go faster, speed up, and then slow down before it hits its second keyframe. So how do we do that? Now, it took us a little while to figure out how to do that in Premiere. So if we go here into the timeline up here, the effects timeline, we're gonna go to our first keyframe. You're going to right or control click on the Mac, and we're gonna go down to temporal interpolation. Mm -hmm. Very fancy. Yes. So we're gonna go down to ease out. Oh, okay. We're gonna click ease out. Interesting. I would have thought it would have been ease in. Yes, a lot of people get confused here because you assume that when you wanna start the motion, start the change in position, that you would ease into the speed. Right. And then for the second keyframe, it would ease out. Right. But that's actually not the case. For some reason, it, it's kind of got it backwards. So you want to ease out first. Yeah. So sort of ease like, in at the end. Yeah. So you're easing out into the movement and then easing back in for the stop. Exactly. Yeah. So, which I guess kind of makes sense if you think about it. But when you first are looking at it, your natural inclination is to think in and out, in not and out and in. Exactly. In this case, it's, it's different. Flip it. Flip it over. So we're going to select ease out, and then we're going to go to the last keyframe, and we're going to click the same thing interpolation and down to ease in. So now we can show you what this is going to do. Uh, this is going to make it look a lot smoother. So as you can see, it sort of starts slow and pulls it into this, the position change and then slows down again at the end. You know, yeah, you, you can, can really see, see it. You can really see it when it's a little more dragged out like mm -hmm. that. You can really see it kind of ramp up in the middle and then slow back down. It looks really good, I think. So Coming to the end, yeah. It's very natural looking. Mm -hmm. And it's really easy to do this in After Effects, but a lot of people don't know that you can actually recreate it in Premiere mm -hmm. pretty easily. Uh, I mean, it didn't take that long. Right, so, and now we also have a preset, which makes it even easier for us. Exactly, so we can go back down into presets and drag it on, and all we gotta do is move it in the position here. Now you don't have to worry about dealing with creating pesky, you know, After Effects compositions and mm -hmm. slowing down your render times and... Yeah, because you don't wanna have to always go into After Effects to edit these little things. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to be able to do it in Premiere where you don't, like you said, have to re-render everything. Exactly. So now what I'm gonna show you, so we can do the same thing actually, but with the scale. Drag our keyframe over here so that we have 100% there, which means that at this keyframe, it's going to look like it does now. Okay. And we're going to drag our little line back here, and we're going to click 100, and we're going to click 0. Oh, all right. So what's going to happen is it's going to start 0 and move up to 100. But now, you can't really see the motion blur because of how far apart these two keyframes are. So we're going to move them closer together so you can really see the effect. Oh, yeah, there you go. There it is. Now we can actually do the same exact thing that we did with position. We're going to ease uh, out and ease in. We're going to ease out and ease in, except this time it's a little easier. No pun intended. Oh! <laughs> oh so we're going to click ease out, and we're going to right click, and ease in. So that'll make it look really smooth. Ooh, that was cool. Yep. And now you got a really clean effect. It's flying right into your face. Of the Tesla popping right up into your face. Wow. That is how you create a motion blur effect in Premiere Pro. Awesome. So I think we've learned something today. We, we've learned something every day. Yes. It's learning to the max. To 
the, the max. max. If you have any comments or questions or any ideas for future videos, what would you like to learn? Please tell us. We want to know. Yeah, anything else? Anything else? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to dance again? Um. Well, now that we know what song we're dancing to, because it's the one we used last time. I mean, it's a good dancing song. It is a good dancing song. Na, 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 na. I don't know if we're singing it in the right key, but. Yes, or if we're singing it in time. Or, yeah, we could be completely out of what's now. happening right now. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. So, all right, guys, we'll see you next time.